Hi everyone, Ariel Adams here at theblogtree.com. I'm in Reno at the air races with the U.S. President of Brightly, Mr. Terry Pritchard. Good afternoon. Tell us a little bit about the Reno Air Races. Reno Air Races are a unique event in the world of aviation. Uh, we've been uh, we've, uh, helping, sponsoring, and supporting the Reno Air Races for the last 13 years. It's when you go out there and you see the plane racing and you see the community embracing the races and you see everybody celebrating the world of aviation, it's a genuine link to Brightling. And we're very, very happy and proud to be able to support and be there again this year for the 49 races. Now tell me, what makes a air race different than an air show? The competition. Those ones right there. Uh, the fact, the, the, the passion of the pilot that comes here to win, the different categories, they have to win, they have to race, not only to celebrate the world of aviation, but they race. And in an air show, it's a lot about demonstration, which is great, about showing off planes, which we have here too, but here you have competition from Friday to Sunday. They qualify on Thursday and they race. You got winners, you got second place, you got third place, and I just came back from the pit, and guys are excited when they qualify. And what are these days? I just met a guy that finished fourth in the city. The race and I wants to compete tomorrow because he wants to, to finish third or win. So I think that's great to have that little excitement of competition too. That's awesome. Is there anything else like this in the world? No, no, it's pretty unique. Uh, that's uh, that's why we love to be here with them. That's why we think uh, we love to have our guests and a lot of visitors coming in live the experience because it's pretty unique. To have plane racing around Pylon in the desert of the, in Nevada and having all these enthusiasts around it, I think it's, it's unique. Now, being here you meet a lot of pilots and things like that and they already have a preconception about Brightly because of what they do. What are some of the things they say about Brightly? Are they excited about Brightly watches normally? The, the most pride we have about that is that if you go in there and if you look at people that watch the races, you have pilots from every you know, country, you have pilots from the Navy, pilots from the US Air Force, and most of them, when you look at their race, they're wearing bright. So for us, it's really important to see that. They go on and they buy it from themselves. I just met two guys, two instructors, they were wearing their, their, their watches. And I think it's great to see them that they really understand our uh, the, the DNA of the brand, which is, has been with aviation since 1950, even the 40s. And, uh, and it's great to see that genuine relationship. Uh, they come to us, they like to, to, to spend time with us and they like to watch the race and they like to wear bright links, which is for us very exciting. We're very proud of that. that that's great. So this year, like every other year, there's a limited edition yes. bright link, and the winner gets it, right? Yes. Okay. Course. Yes, I have been like this for a few years. So this year we've been able to do uh, a special watch, which is the Super Ocean 44 chronograph, which as you see, we've, we've been able to, to put a red bezel because it's the color of the races and, and on top of it on the dial you have the Reno Air Races logo. So we've done a limited edition of 50 pieces with the personalized dial. Now, is, this, is that only available here or can people buy this at like other Brightling stores? The, the, the fun part is we only make 50 and we introduce them at the race. So, you know, we've been very successful this year. So I'm not sure there'll be a, a few more after the races. If they have a few more, they'll be available at Brightling for itself and especially they'll be available in our two store in New York and in Miami. That's fantastic. So tell me, last question, what, what's going to be involved in the future of Brightling's connection with the air races. Are you going to do more things? Uh, we, we, we really hope and we will continue to support them the best we can. There is something very exciting. Next year is the 50th anniversary of the air races. So we have in the making some, uh, some ideas. We want to support them to have a big event. And we're going to introduce again two uh, one for sure, but we hope two limited edition, uh, so we can have two watches for them, or at least maybe one for lady, one for men, but one celebrate and make, make a, probably a, not only a dial personalization, but also probably a, a, a back that celebrates the 50-year anniversary to really support them. Fantastic. Gary, thank you so much.